Well, hello, Glue Troopers. Max and Max's models here. And I did not get any model work done today between making videos, doing research for the live stream tomorrow night, and running errands, etc., etc., etc. I didn't get any work done on the Sikorsky, and it's still giving me the grumpy look. So, sorry about that. Mm, maybe tomorrow. I did get over to Hurricane Hobbies. By the way, uh, Tamiya, at first I thought this might be the old... Uh, monogram kit but tamia has got that rc mark IV panzer out there i thought that was pretty cool and that was the first time i saw it in the end cap also while i was there i noticed ian got a nice delivery of these wooden puzzles they seem to be uh selling uh, quite well and I'm, I'm glad they are because that helps support all of the important stuff you know like the kit models uh did pick up a uh a collectible matchbox apparently uh ian has an underground matchbox uh connection and uh, i got that for a glue trooper so uh that's uh gonna be uh well i shouldn't be talking about it. that's a super secret deal that i'm not supposed to talk about so let's just forget i said anything uh, i got a package from garfield orange tabby and uh so i by myself I'm in a bit of a hurry so i decided to go ahead and do an unboxing obviously i got to the post office and there was a de havilland chipmunk from airfix oh while I'm on that point, the famous Airfix artist Roy Cross is coming up on his 100th birthday. And I was sent something by a glue trooper. Apparently, you can send an up to 20 second long video to marketing at airfix.com. Uh, just wishing Roy a happy 100th birthday. But you've only got about a day or two left. I think the deadline's the 21st. It's day after tomorrow. So I sent mine in uh, on behalf of all the glue troopers. So uh, that that's wicked awesome. And uh, anyway, he also, getting back to the uh, what was in the box, there was also the Trumpeter Canadian Husky 6x6. Uh, that's uh, armored personnel care, armored vehicle, wheeled armored vehicle. Then he sent me a bunch of little airplanes that were Max's Air Force, God bless him, and uh, B-17, Spitfire, C-47, uh, Corsair, Mustang, uh, P-38, and... A couple of others that I'm still kind of scratching my head over might be an Air Cobra and uh, might be possibly a Curtis Hawk, you know, I'm not Thunderbolt. Can't, can't really, the yellow ones kind of got me scratching my head. But hey, uh, thank you for that, Garfield. Also, he sent me some Timmy's decaf uh, and uh, he sent this Hairball Honey's Revenge. And apparently, uh, this is something that. You stuff these little fur balls in her mouth and you squeeze it and it shoots them across the room. I'm trying to get her to chase them, but she kind of looked at me like, well, God's green earth is that human. And also he sent me a book on the damn busters, as well as this magnificent hat from the Canadian uh, warplane heritage, and uh, which goes so well with the beautiful mug that uh, Sarah Jane sent me with the Spitfire. And also a wicked cool t-shirt with the uh, Red Baron uh, Matt Tevens artwork on it. Hopefully, maybe I get to wear that tomorrow night. I, I haven't tried it on yet. I was going, it's in the, as we speak, if you can hear in the background, the dryer's going. It's on the tumble dryer right now. That was uh, really everything that was today uh, of any consequence where models are concerned. Um, I'm putting some stuff together for the live stream, but I... I there's going to be a little more flying saucer stuff in there. I'm thinking about a little bit on on molds that are being repurposed as other kits, but also uh, that kind of led to we we, we talked about uh, you know kits that you hated or gave you fits. I was thinking maybe about kits that turned into time sucks. Not that they were bad kits or they gave you a hard time, just it took forever to do them. Uh, like like with the Felix though, but of course I knew that would be uh, time consuming. But then as Steve over Steve's Model Mania pointed out. That's almost every kit. So we'll figure something to talk about. And, um, you know, if not, we'll just talk about whatever is on everybody's mind. Well, anyway, guys, uh, the live stream should be tomorrow at 7 p.m. East Coast time, 2300 Zulu, Saturday night, regular time. I have to go to work the next day. So uh, although we, we're free to go a little long if we want to, uh, the, the live stream will be the last content for a little, little while. And uh, that's where we're at with everything and maybe, just maybe, after I do this video, I'll, I'll start working on that sky crane. It, it's really looking at me very judgmentally. Take care of yourself, guys. And as always, model on.